Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys the bare minimum you need to do a taping job. Also, this is going to be the first video in a playlist that's going to show you guys the order of things you need to do to do a good taping job. Anyways, let's get right started. So, the first thing is going to be a 2 inch taping knife. It's definitely good to have one of these when you get into tight spaces. A 1 inch is going to be a luxury item if you want one. Okay, but next, Let's get into the 4 inch knife. So the 4 inch knife is going to be great for taping corners. It's going to be great for doing screws so you don't leave so much mud on the wall. I wouldn't be without a 4 inch knife. I really like using them. It's also really nice for coating corners. Next down the line is a 6 inch taping knife. The by far the most versatile taping tool. I wouldn't be without one of these. So I use these, you can even use them for laying tapes, you can use them for screws, you can use them for inside corners. Definitely a versatile tool. Oh yeah, putting on corner beads too. Okay, next, let's get into the coating. So for the coating, I would use a 10 inch knife. I really think that a 10 inch knife is more versatile than a 12 because a 12 can be, feel pretty big and bulky. While yes, you can do a better job, like fan things out wider easier with a 12, this is the most user friendly to use. And of course, a mud pan. So this is a great mud pan, you guys. You notice it's got this grip on the bottom. I will link this in the description below. In fact, I will link any of the tools I can find in the description below, just to make it easier for you guys to find them. So a mud pan is an essential, in my opinion. Um, you can do a lot of things with it. You can thin down your mud, you can mix up quick set. Without a mud pan, you're making your job really hard. Tape measure, you're going to need a tape measure for corner beads sometimes. And speaking of corner beads, you're going to need a nice set of tin snips. These Wiss tin snips, I think they're Wiss, no, Lennox. Wiss is the common type, Lennox is a step up. These are the best tin snips I've ever had. They will still cut paper at about six years old. So these have been good quality. So this right here is your bare bones taping kit. So let's get into some more luxury items. Okay, you know, having the tape just laying around on the ground is pretty annoying. You're walking all over it. So I find one of these tape dispensers to be really handy. I just hook it into my pocket or off my belt and just run from there. So I find one of these to be really nice for taping. That's definitely a luxury item, but I wouldn't be without it. Okay, next, of course, you're gonna wanna have a bucket and a nice brush is really handy for when you want to clean off your pan or clean off your tools real quick. Now people often ask me, Ben, what's the best way to clean tools? Well, I don't do that much, you know? I just basically give it a quick scrub like this and it's done. I don't worry too much about it. Okay, next, let's get into another luxury item. So I would say a small paint mixer of some kind, if you don't want to invest in a proper mixer because you need a big mixing drill for a proper mixer. It's really hard to run one of these off of anything smaller than this. So I'm going to link one in the description anyways. This is a really good quality one that I use all the time. I think it's from Bond Tools, but I love this one. It's affordable and lasts a long time. It's got this nub on the bottom that stops it from scraping up the bottom of the bucket and getting all that, you know, what looks like shredded coconut, but it's actually plastic in your mud. Okay, but maybe you don't want to invest in that big drill. So, I think this is really handy. I'm going to bring you guys over here. Alright, let's look at this mud. So that's in no state to be used. It's going to be full of bubbles and super porous. Actually, it's not that bad, but anyways. Now all you need for this, because it's so small, is just any old drill. It can be a corded drill or it can be a cordless drill. But at least you can whip up the top few inches of mud. So even this makes the mud so much smoother and easier to work with. Like That is way better. So yeah, the paint mixer. That's a great tool that's not going to cost much and it's going to add huge value to your jobs because your mud's going to be mixed smooth, you're going to get way less bubbles, it's going to be easier to tape with. So I highly recommend getting one of those. Well worth it. Anyways you guys, um, 
That comes to the end of the bare basics taping tools. So now after this video, here comes all the other ones. The things that you may have missed that you should know to do a really good taping job. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found this video useful. I hope your taping jobs are going well and I'll see you in the next videos. I mean, you know I won't see you though. I'll see your comments, but I'm just staring at a camera. <laughs>